Hello everyone, my name is Leonardo Saavedra Munar and I'll make the presentation associated with the paper The Maker Movement in Engineering Education, a partial literature review of the research opportunities on competency development. My doctoral thesis advisor is Mark Alier Forment. This research is developed with the aim of establishing the doctoral project in the Doctorate in Engineering, Science and Technology of Education at the Polytechnic University of Catalonia. This paper presents the partial literature review related to the maker movement, its inclusion in engineering education and the way in which this inclusion contributes to the development of skills. Initially, it is based on the definition of the maker movement, its emergence, fundamental components, subsequently the particularities of maker spaces will be present. Also, the influence of the maker movement in engineering education is present, emphasizing uh, the development of skills. The maker movement, inspired by the phrase do it yourself, is made up of a growing number of people who are dedicated to the creative production of artifacts in their daily lives in search of solving their own problems and those of the context. In its trajectory, the movement is consolidated uh, with the appearance of the Make magazine in January of 2005. The maker movement has three fundamental components, technology, spaces, and community. And the principles that govern this uh, ideology are the creation, iteration, exchange, and autonomy. A maker space um, are a space uh, that contributes to the exploration and research and uh, usually are open to the community and arise from uh, the response to the current needs of society and as alternative to think about the meaning and creative application of technology, which allow its attendees to structure and develop ideas in a practical way and in context, seeking to promote social transformation, technological appropriation and others. There are uh, different types of, of maker spaces like Fab Labs, Media Labs, Biblio Labs and others and commonly maker spaces are classified into industrial, educational, uh, community, uh, nodes or network categories. Also it's important to mention three typologies of maker spaces, dedicated, distributed and mobile. In the educational field, uh, the maker movement is framed in active learning, construction and constructivism as the central pedagogy drivers and for this reason Simu Papert and Jim Piaget are considered at the, as the founding father of this movement. Um, the maker movement is circumscribed to the inclusion of commonly strong skill in engineering, for example algorithms and programming, uh, to design um, digital resources and, and develop projects that respond to problems in the context of engineering education. The use of these tools uh, is associated with the learning by doing, whose precursor was John Dewey. And um, also it's important to uh, mention that uh, this is complemented uh, by the proposal of Edgar Dale, who states that the greater learning occurs from the behaviors that imply a greater activity of learner. Uh, Prisma was applied for the development of the systematic review. Uh, the guided question uh, for the search was how does the inclusion of the maker movement impact on the development of transversal competence of engineering students? Um, we use Google Scholar, large, like Sears Engine, and we use uh, uh, the language uh, to search the information was English and Spanish. It's important to emphasize that the analysis of the available documentation shows a work opportunity in gender gap, quantitative analysis of the development of transversal competence, uh, how to train engineering students in the maker movement, and if the maker movement and its inclusion may be uh, counterproductive in engineering education. There are some references. And Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Leonardo Saavedra Munar.